Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the hunter for joining. Please like, comment, subscribe, and whatever you want. Honga only. We're doing the story missions only. I've already completed and restarted the game. Uh, we're going to turn on our app and we're going to go down to the system and turn on our our thing so it'll la leave us where we were. So right now we got a story mission creeping in on us and it's called Across the Savannah. Now I'm not going to do no side missions unless you request it. We're going to travel to the Tree of Life. Now all we got to do here is just ride an ATV over there. A lot of this, this is pretty easy. There is some hunting involved and uh, stuff. And as you remember, if you remember right correctly, the last time, the last three missions we done, we did welcome mind the traps, welcome to Verhanga. I do a little more today. We're going to try to do a little more. I'm going to promise to do a little more in Verhanga. And I probably ought to get the well. Not worried about calls right now. But over here by this tree, there's a collectible. Now they can be 200 XP a piece. And you want to take in account. This is what I do. See. If you find if you find places like this that's got this green see you can find out where some animals are feeding I got white my active tracks and inactive tracks are yeah the reason I do that is because in this map the green map stuff shows up a lot better so yeah that's my reason for that now you, I, you can pick any color scheme, whichever works best for you. So there's a lot of them. This looks like a good place to call in the animal. I hope you are of course, of course, this is this the is first the place, place I came to celebrate when I was here you coming are back to Africa. Africa. I, I played, played the drum, drum and sang and praised the ancestors. The then I did something special in the tree. It's, it's there, there waiting, waiting for you. Take, take it. Alright, you want to collect these. Because they're 100. Then of course there's something over here by the tree that's collectible, see? You definitely want to take these collectibles. Carved it myself. myself. Do you recognize Yami Yami Yami? Yeah. I don't believe in all that. Whatever you want to do. So see, you get 200 XP for that. Maybe she was a little good, I don't know. If we win his favor, maybe you help us conquer the drought drought because we keep fucking up the ride. So that shouldn't be too hard. I need to call for the spring box. We have a duty to them. Now, if you want to know the truth, the 30 out of 6 is probably a little too high. So, what you want to do is get something like a. Uh, I'm on now a 243 and just put a little different ammo in there. I'd like to get one with a bow. Just scroll down all my weapons I got. You can see the arrows I got, okay. 
Now on the calls. That's her kudu's good. That's good. That's good. But I need something to call in the spring box. There's no access deer here. And I don't believe there's no road deer. So you don't have to worry about them. Uh, you can use that. Uh, a little different tree stand for, for Verhonga, my friends. Uh, I, there's not very many trees in Verhonga, actually. So what I actually use is this. I like the... Uh, that it, it, it seems to work best in this Africa climate so keep that in mind and we're gonna we're going to uh, yeah oh yeah we're gonna we're gonna go look for some spring box now spring box they're around I mean you just gotta find them let's just go ahead and uh, equip some of this stuff uh, we'll go to lures, antler runner. We're looking for springbok, so you don't really need to, that collar. And you can put some scintillator on. And of course, the binoculars, and of course, the tree line always put down here. Now, you can just dip the springbok out there. You can put with the 243, and if you run into a the uh, ever wicked line you probably never kill him but uh, yeah so we're going to do something a little different we're going to go let's go over here to this area because there seems to be a few spring box but we got to kill one with great integrity so down here by this lake anywhere where there's a lake this is probably the a1 place for spring box so and over here so we're just going to do a little quick travel I think to here just so we can have the wind at a better see what the wind is doing a little better now you gotta do is get a great integrity on a you may have to kill one or two animals just to get that spring box but that's easy all you want you can call a bunch of them gimbal stops in and do fine with it now I'm going to run along here until we get up there at about 200 meters of course I ever got the elusive bow but uh, remember if you're hunting the uh, spring box and you want to keep the integrity high you definitely want to use the 420 grain broadhead on your bow So right there, see, is the first good sign. So spring that baby up there. You spin it by hitting that one. And now we're going to equip the... Now we're going to equip the... Now, when you get to that, you hear an animal like that, you want to automatically look, see. This is a gimbal stop call so you definitely want to put that here and bring the snort wheeze to there all right since the bow's there now this rattler will call these gimbal stops in now I don't know where they're at He's down there somewhere. There he is, see? Now there's a spring box, see? I see him just right over the rise there. Spring box get their name from jumping, see? I see him right over there somewhere. There he is. See? So we'll just keep calling. We'll kill several spring box. It don't matter.
where there's one spring block there's usually more Shoot it with a bow. Hopefully we can get a high integrity. He's right there somewhere. I think the most challenging part of the game is getting the animals to respond to your calls. Now you can do that through your perk system. If you look at your perks, uh, of course, if you're using archery, you're going to be using predominant archery. You want to build these up right here. And yes, increase. Okay, there. See, that's what you got to worry about. Dropped it right in his track. That's what we want. A 243 is perfect for that. Now, I don't know if that'll be high enough, but even though it did drop it in his tracks, it was weird that it came from over in this direction, so. Yeah. So good. Nice. So we did it. Now it's time to bring Yummy 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 home to the river. Take it to the side side of Mano Kokode and bury him. So this is pretty easy. That was pretty easier than what I thought it would be. So the, they kind of repaired a lot of it. So yeah, well, all you gotta do is go over to this house. And that's one of the objectives down. We went to the trees. They may not all be at your level, but they do work. They are organized by Maria Bueni. She is a lioness. Maria was the one who went to you. He was a king of his fortunes. When you hurt her, you do not have to do it. It's to stay faithful to the staff. Just know that's why Maria so thinks you are to a work. Why, 
getting down is the hard part, right? So once we get down here, we're good to go. So we're going to deliver this so-called idol to the water. Not that I, I wouldn't do it. I'd tell him to do it himself. I'm not bothered by superstitions and stupidity like that, but these natives believe some crazy stuff over in Africa. And I wouldn't do it for tradition's sake, but just because... It just wouldn't work for me. I don't care for it. So all you gotta do is just go over here to Yami Yami and interact. I can tell this is out of your comfort zone. My traditions are due to you. I know. You keep always laughing because I went to the sun when I was sick. But the sun must be always wet. Always. Not always. No, no. Maybe now you get this river rush one more time. That's pretty cool. There's that. Now the next mission. Ready for more exploring? What time, what time for you to go south? south? Sonda. Take, Take a long gorge. So named because, because ages, ages ago, a giant, giant elephant, elephant long, long, dragged his snout along, along the ground. Carved that, that gorge, gorge into the earth. earth. <laughs> I, don't I don't really, really believe, believe that, that one. But, but I find it entertaining. The path the through, through the gorge, the gorge is, marked is marked in your codex. codex. Along, Along the way, I'll need you to, to take a photo of a photo special, special site. Have your, Have your camera, camera ready. ready. Ready, ready, So we go right here. Now you can take your ATV somewhat up there, so... It's pretty rough terrain over here, so... Now we're going to take a picture of this gouge in the earth, the cave, it's a cave formation, all it is, where the water washed out the weaker subsoils when the water was high, really high. Usually when any kind of erosion is like this, it means the water was really high, like the Grand Canyon. Water was really high there too, it just ate into the earth. The tracks, looks like a Predator, don't it? And there's a uh, lot of lot of animals down here. You know, that. Look what. Uh, they're not chasing me any. By no means. We're doing all right, though. We're making pretty good time. Ah, oh, there's some animals here, so. Ah, oh, it's Springbok. And, uh, hmm. One of them. That can only Some be in a Ooh, he's close. I So all we got to do is go up here. There's, There's the Marshall, Marshall Restoration Site. You got your, got your camera? camera? Oh yeah. So that's 
to painting. Nice. So that pretty much ends this part. Now, now continue, continue to the Zanga, to the place marked, marked on, on your course. We need, we need you to collect, collect some water, water from, from, from the swamps. swamps. Don't get ah, get squeamish on, on me. You've done, You've done well, well so far. <laughs> now, now it's time, time to get, to get your, your hands dirty. And, and, and your feet. Your feet. And, and your legs. By the way, you've got to die. Uh, we'll do this last one here and then we'll we'll end the stream. I'd like to keep it like to keep it short. I gotta do is go down here and collect some water. See the three water. into the only tree down through here. bodies of water down here. I think the next one's about right there. And you'll know when you get run over it because it'll have a square pop up. You can probably do it right here. Yeah, see yeah, I was right. the last one. <sighs> Four wheelers unrealistic. That's mucking for science. Mission complete. 
So there you go, we got... So many, so many they, they don't realize, realize they're, they're going to starve themselves, themselves by defeating the, the, the grassland. Your job, Your job here would be to, be to focus, focus on saving the wheel piece from overpopulation. That's the side mission, Just so we're not. Check your mission log when, when you've got time to spare. I, I, I almost forgot to try, child. That shot to talk about the restored painting. Your brother sent it to a photojournalist who is going to be very hard. Flip, flip, flip. So travel to Biden's campsite. So that's pretty easy. Uh, that's We'll do it next time. I took one look at him. I said, if this man sees a real ghost, the only thing you do is turn a pale shade of white. Your brother thought it was better to view a battle for the huge views and exposure or whatever. So I let you come with all your hands and gear and cameras. What if he was? It's not been here two days, two days, two days and already Gustav Bada has gone radio silent. Without our guidance, between the wind of Georgia and the Bada Buffalo, this is your plan to get himself killed. Go to his campsite, give him your spare radio, and talk some bloody sense into him. He should have a camp set up to your west. In the, in the area, area marked on your map. So we'll continue that next time. I thank you all for watching. Uh, we're going to do Mampra. It's uh, go to the guys. Just off Biden's campsite. That'll be the next mission. We've done four missions here. I thank you for watching. Have a good one. Peace out, everybody.